return of you will welcome back so we're gonna get into it see what's the vibe see what spirit has for you at this time thank you guys for joining me thank you guys for all the likes comments subscribe shares views tips donations and bookings i really appreciate you guys take what resonates leave what does not on this table this is general if you would like to book a personal my email is in the description box okay if you have libra anywhere in your chart then you belong here if you don't have libra in your chart and you found this channel then you still belong here so let's get straight into it see what's the vibe see what spirit has for you at this time i see you guys love and light i hope you are doing well so let's get into it let's start with the overall energy life relationship okay so that's the overall energy surrounding you guys at, at this time on the bottom of the deck is passion okay so you have known each other before okay so this is definitely someone in your energy that you have known before whether in the past in 3d or 5d okay so there's definitely passion here this could also be a fire sign Aries Leo Sag let's get into it. Spirit, what's going on with this what do you want the Libras to know about this at this time? For some of you, you need to make sure that you have boundaries here. Also, someone could be strategizing healing when it comes to you. What is the message here for the Libras? We have the three of wands. Okay, so for some of you here, you manifested this past life relationship. Okay, this could definitely be someone that you have a soulmate connection to on the 5D, okay? What is the message? Also, I feel like this person will be worth waiting for here. The Ten of Wands here. So, this could definitely be a fire sign energy. Also, I feel like you guys could have been burdened, worried about a new beginning. When is my manifestation coming? And boom, here it is. The Fool, Okay. So you guys could have manifested a Pisces and Aquarius. Also, this could just be your energy in this going on a new journey, taking a leap of faith, okay? Not necessarily knowing how things are going to happen, but still willing to go and start this journey, okay? In a lighthearted, carefree type of energy, okay? We know the full energy is like carefree, right? Someone that's like taking a risk, not afraid, Again, boundaries are very important. This is the second card. This uh, second time this card came out. So having boundaries here, having your guard up, paying attention to the red flags. Y'all know all of that good shit is important. So, what is the message? The ten of swords. So I really feel like you guys, right? It's like you went through some. Backstabbing betrayal, you could have went through some type of internal suffering here, maybe waiting for this person to come through to manifest for you here. This could also be someone that is from your past that's trying to manifest you back into their life, okay? But I really feel like protecting your energy, having boundaries, okay, having your walls up, but being willing and open to maybe try again when it comes to love after being backstabbed and betrayed. So just make sure you guys are gu being guarded, but being open, if that makes sense. Clarify the fool. We have the horror form, right? It's like going on this new journey, having this new relationship, this higher level of commitment. For some of you here, this is definitely your emperor, your divine counterpart, okay? For some of you, this could be your energy. You could be this horrifying energy, this boss, okay? You could have a spiritual business, okay? For some of you here, you could be a principal, I'm hearing. Um, some type of boss, right? You could have a company, own your own business, right? So maybe this love thing is just a, a journey you're going on at this time. Currently, it's like wanting loyalty. You have loyalty to give, wanting a higher level of commitment, Right, in a relationship that's with someone that financially abundant, emotionally mature, spiritually connected, right? Very smart, very analytical. Also, someone that has their shit together as well. 
clarify the three of wands. Knight of Pentacles, right? It's like you manifested this. This could have taken a while, right? The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving energy, but it's like when it shows up, it shows up. It shows up, it's reliable. It shows up, it's stable, right? So this is definitely what's coming towards you. And congratulations, Libra, because you manifested the fuck out of this. Turn about the Ten of Wands. Two of Pentacles here. So I really feel like you guys could have felt burdened, right? It's like you balanced out your finances. All of that is going good. But you could have just been missing out on love. Okay? Also, someone could be burdened at the fact that they juggled you in the past. All right, this Pisces, they definitely could want a new beginning. This Aries, this Taurus, heavy on the Taurus. All right, this person, um, you can have your guards up and be protecting your energy from this person. So take it as it resonates. Clarify the Ten of Wands. I mean, the Nine of Wands, sorry. The King of Pentacles, right? The King of Pentacles brings commitment. The King of Pentacles brings abundance, right? But... This is also someone that's monogamous. This is someone that's willing to be in a committed relationship. Someone that knows how to control their emotions. Someone that knows how to control their wand. Okay? Or their pocketbook. Go ahead, Ten of Swords. Two of Swords. Okay? So, it's like, again, paying attention, having your boundaries... Not wanting to repeat this Ten of Swords energy, right? It's like you already passed this end of a difficult cycle here. It's like you made a decision. This person can have a Libra moon. You could, you could have a Libra moon as well. But definitely making this decision here. Also, someone could be releasing some codependent energy or a person and protecting themselves and their boundaries. So let's see what's the vibes. Damn. <laughs> but some of y'all, this person is smoking here. This person could have also been being manipulated here this, by a self-sabotager. Or this person could be, I really feel like that could be your ex's energy here. Also, someone could have got a reading on you. And someone definitely may want to propose to you. Story, so what's the vibes with this past life relationship? For some of you here, I don't know if you manifested your ex back into your life, but there's that. What's going on with this past life relationship? Missing you. So for some of you, this is definitely someone that's missing you. Also, this person could miss you like energetically as well, right? Even if you never connected to this person on a 3D, but it's like you have a past life connection to this person. So their soul knows you and maybe they're yearning for you and missing you, right? They're coming towards you to bring you this offer here. Also, we have, I'm sorry, I hurt you. So like I said, there's definitely an ex that's like thinking about the way that they caused you obstacles and burdens. They juggled you. They sorry they hurt you. This could be uh, earth sign energy here. Right? It's like you no longer allow that person to manipulate you. What's the vibe with this past life relationship? Focused on the bag. So again, like I said, you could be really focused on your money at this time. Balancing out your finances. Drowning in their emotions. So this person is drowning in their emotions. Also, this could have been someone that was in some type of dysfunctional family, marriage, or whatever it may be. I really feel like this person is burdened at this time. Why is this person drowning in their emotions? In a karmic relationship. So for some of you here, this person is in a karmic relationship with someone that they have children with here. So, they're constantly thinking about you, burdened by you. Spirit, tell me what's going on with this manifested uh, past life connection, this 5D connection, this soulmate connection, This not this X. What's going on with this? Attracted to the same sex. So, for some of you here, this is if you are uh, someone that's in the LGBTQ community, this could definitely be a new beginning here for you that you manifested. Um, so here comes your soulmate, okay? What's going on? 
Right, it's like bring with envy in reverse. So I feel like this person will not be bringing envy, jealous vibes, any type of drama here, right? No drama you're going to have to heal from, right? It's like bringing commitment, protection, right? A provider. And this person is very abundant here. You could also be this abundant person, so take it as your name. What's the vibes with this past life relationship? Clown and secret family. So for some of you here, this person could also be protecting their energy from some feminine here. Maybe they went through some type of uh, drama with a clown themselves, right? Maybe they had found out that this person could have had a secret family or something like that here. This is definitely something that they could have gotten over, something that was really tough for them. This could have also been someone that they were having friends with benefits with. Okay, so keep in mind for some of you here, it's like you're going to connect with this person. This is a past life uh, connection here, but it's also someone that could have been going through their own obstacles and challenges and karmic lessons here. And maybe now that this person is ending this relationship, you'll meet this person because they're available, you're available. Let's see, what's going on with this past life relationship? Love yourself first, okay? It says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So for some of you, again, it's like you're loving on yourself. So you manifested this. You're very uh, romantically attractive. Self-love is the best love, right? So because you met, you loving on yourself, you manifested. Even this ex, okay? They could be watching you being more romantically attracted towards you because they see you loving yourself first. We have forgiving and learning and children. So again, for some of you here, it's like this person wants your forgiveness. Also, you guys could be releasing and healing from the past. Like I said, if someone juggled you, it's like you're experiencing more love in the present moment or you're about to be because you are forgiving and learning. Children, so like I said, there definitely could be children involved with this dysfunctional family, with this karmic relationship. Also, this person could be burdened if they were acting very childish here. So take it as it resonates. And then we have make the effort. So this person is coming to make the effort. Again, right? Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So they feel guided to take these steps. They have romantic feelings for you. Okay, they want a honeymoon with you, rendezvous with you, spend some time with you, because they have a lot of passion for you. All right? So the advice here is for you guys to let go of your control issues. It is safe for you to love, because you're calling in your soulmate. Okay, religious factors may have something to do with these romantic feelings. For some of you, maybe not. And then we have healing family issues. So again, this love is coming in healing. Okay, so let go of control. It's safe for you to love. You deserve love. So there's that, Libra. Thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you guys love and light, and I'll see you in the next one. Awesome.